What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Uncle A Bomb, A Bomb here, the designated Raider hater on Black Saturday here. And I wanted to talk about my buddy Ben. I saw his live stream today. And uh, look, I know Raider Ben. And I'm going to speak to his character, all right? Raider Ben is a solid guy. Uh, our friendship developed over our mutual hatred of each other <laughs> and each other's teams. And that's a fact. There's nobody on here that has got more shit from Raider Ben than I have. There's also nobody here that I've given more shit to. Uh, Raider Ben and I, when we're together in person, we're talking shit just like we do when we're online, man. Uh, Raider Ben is, he is who you see. Nothing fake about it. Now, I'm going to say Black Saturday. Black Saturday has been the most fun I've ever had chopping it up about football in my entire life. And that's a fact. I love coming in every week into the enemy's house and just giving you guys shit and getting all the shit you're giving me. It's what shit talk is, you know. But at the end of the day, uh, I got nothing but love for the Black Saturday gang and uh, for those NWA guys. And of course, I flip you shit because I say I'm the Niner with attitude. <laughs> but look, and I'm gonna I'm gonna address Earn direct, bro. Ben came out. He did the Mia Culpa, and dude, just let it go. Um, fucking, just call it call it good. You know, water under the bridge. Uh, ben stood up, and uh, he was a man about it. And uh, he admitted he was at fault. So just leave it at that, because, you know, we got something rolling on Black Saturday. We got something something special, man. We're, we're our own clique, you know. And I'd rather roll with all you real Raider fans than roll with a bunch of fake 49er fans. And you guys know what I think of that. I've said it many times. Most Niner fans are fraudulent. Most are fake. You know, most of them are Warrior fans, too. <laughs> Me, I root for the 49ers because, well, shit. You know, my granddad started taking me to games in 1976. Some of my ancestors were literally 49ers from the Gold Rush. You know, uh, my Uncle Ron's mother-in-law was their cook in Rockland, California for training camp for years. And I got to go to the training camp before that was a thing, you know? So yeah, you know, I'm never gonna really change my mind. I'll, I'll always be true to my team, but you guys feel the same way about your team. And nobody can be a true 49er fan unless they hate the Raiders with every fucking fiber in their fucking body. And nobody can be a true Raider fan unless they hate the 49ers as much. Seahawks, they're just a team in my division, just like the Rams are and the Cardinals are. We play them twice a year. Big fucking deal, okay? Wonderful. They're not our rivals. My team's rivals, well, some Niner fans say Dallas. In our conference, maybe that's true. But our rivals, period, the fucking Raiders. You guys are my rival fan base, period. We hate your team, you hate ours. But we're men. We like to flip shit. Uh, most, of those, most of you guys that I've been on that panel with there, love to have a fucking beer with. But I don't want to see it. I don't want to see what, what Ben has built and what we all got going turn into something stupid 
over something stupid. Fuck that. Um, we're a crew. We're the Black Saturday gang. And I'm very proud of that. I'm proud that you guys uh, enjoy it when I tap that link. I'm proud that you guys have designated me the Raider Hater. And fuck yeah, I'm all about it, man. Um, I'm Matt Man. And I'll tell you what, uh, I had to come down to help my mom out right before she died, a few months before she died. I flew down, mom's in the hospital, I'm getting her house all situated, I'm getting her finances all situated, I'm, uh, I'm uh, making arrangements so she can have in-home care, I'm doing all this stuff, you know, and I'm my mom's only child, under a tremendous amount of stress, you know, I had to, uh, I had to, I had to get leave from a job that I loved, I tried to get mom to come to Idaho, no, she wanted to die in Stockton, man, that's where she's from, she wanted to live in, in her house until she couldn't no more, and so I had to, I had to facilitate that, even though my life was 1,200 miles away. Well, when I was at, 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 at my darkest, man, when, I, when it was really bad, you know, this motherfucker, he sends me a text, and he says, hey, hey, Bob, coming over. So what the fuck you talking about? He says, Raider Ant and I are coming over. I say, yeah, okay, come on over. Hey, Bob, yeah. We're bringing, we're bringing a bunch of, a bunch of Corona. We're bringing some herb. We're bringing some carne asada. You got a barbecue? I said, yeah, we got a barbecue. You got coals? Yeah, we got some coals. Got lighter fluid? No, nah, no, nah, I don't see any. Well, we're bringing lighter fluid too. Ben and his wife came over and, uh, hey, we had a hell of a time, you know. And uh, it was the first time, you know, Ben and I had spent uh, a lot of time together. We'd met previously. We'd met previously a couple times. And, uh, you know, it was always cool. But, no, nah, man, Ben really helped bail me out. And then when my mom did die, Ben and uh, Ben Benther and, and Raiderette, man, they were... They were there for me again. Had me over to their home for dinner. Uh, you know, they knew my wife had to be in Idaho for most of it. So they kind of gave me a place to go and someone to chill out with that wasn't a cousin or my aunt and uncle, you know. And it was a nice getaway. And it helped get my mind off of stuff. And Ben and, uh, and Raiderette, man, they, they treated me like I was a king. And so, that's the kind of people, that's the kind of people Raider Ben is. Uh, if you guys don't know his story, I'm here to tell you. Ben came up from less than nothing. Ben is more hood than anyone I know. I know where he grew up. I used to run those very same streets, you know, decades before he did. But I, but I had it nowhere near like he did. Ben is a success story, man. Everything Ben's got from his home, his, his beautiful wife, his kids, his car, everything in his house, he earned. He fucking earned it. And uh, he came up the hard way, didn't have no fucking help. So if y'all are thinking about being sideways on Ben because of some internet shit, Hey, fuck you. You're lost. You're fucking lost. I don't know many guys that'll own up to a mistake, own it, and throw a mea culpa. And uh, Ben is one of those guys. He's a solid guy. Great, great, great fucking dude. Uh, one of the best Raider fans I've ever met. One of the best football fans, period. And uh, nah, man. Don't fuck up what we got rolling on Black Saturday. I should have been there more, but, you know, moved here to Mobile, Alabama, and I got uh, one ant, one ankle left down here, 
Uh, anyway, my uncle's in his 80s. My aunt's in her 70s. I got uh, 49 living first cousins. A lot of which I haven't seen since I was seven years old. And that's where I was last Saturday. And uh, some, a uh, couple of them I've never met. But the family up here is really close. I came here for uh, to meet my dad's family right before college. I came down here. I lived for a little while after college. And I've just been, you know, getting to know these folks and uh, just kind of reconnecting with the family because out of all my uh, cousins on my dad's side and all of Granny Mabel's grandchildren, I'm the only one that did not grow up in or around the Pensacola, Florida, Panhandle, Mobile, Alabama area. I'm the only one. So that's what I've been doing and I've been introducing my wife to this big huge family I have down here and that's what I've been up to but other than that man uh, you know I'd be a black Saturday now this Saturday you gotta fucking be there and you Raider fans I'm gonna fuck with you about Jimmy Garoppolo I am not gonna let off the gas about that shit either the fact that that piece of shit, trash ass, fucking Super Bowl, fucking choking quarterback is a fucking Raider old captain injury, biggest waste of money in 49er history. The fact that he's a fucking Raider, oh, I love it. I love it because I hated him anyway. Had to root for him because he was on, on my team. But I don't got to root for him no more. Fuck him. He's a Raider. He's fucking spent more time on the injured reserve list in the hospital bed and riding the pine than he has on the field, baby. Those are facts. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy fucking with you guys. And uh, I hope to see you this Saturday. Uh, squash the beefs with Ben if you're rocking. In the NWA, if you're part of the Black Saturday gang, I'm a part of the Black Saturday gang. Uh, I think all you guys are pretty fucking awesome. Uh, like I said, a lot of fun. So let's not let something stupid, some uh, some bad reaction, fuck up something that's uh, so great, so fun, and so strong. So that's it, man. And the A-bomb, I don't know if Ben's going to post this or not, but it's unlisted on my uh, The Crazy Uncle channel. I'm having to rebuild a channel again. I don't like it, but I am. But for me, it ain't about subs anymore. The only thing I really give a shit about is old Raider Ben's channel here on YouTube. And uh, I think Ben's been doing it good. Everybody fucks up every now and then. And if you're truly their friend, and they throw up at me a culpa, and they're right with it, hey, try to be right back. Otherwise, you were never their friend to begin with. Boom! I'm out.